Wix blank template tutorial how to create Wix website as a beginner hi there you guys welcome to another video and in this video I'll be talking about how you can create a blank template using Wix website management well if you want to start using Wix just go to manage.wix.com and this is when you have already an account but when you don't have an account it's just easy to create one just go ahead and link your Google account or any account you wish to so if you want to, if you want someone to do the site for you, just click this button right over here. But since we are going to explore and check out how to create a Wix website with a blank template, let's go ahead and do that. There's one way for you to do that is to create a new site right over here by clicking this button. Once you click that, it'll redirect you to a new tab in which you can actually go ahead and select templates for different kinds of application or for different kinds of implementation now for example you want to build an online store a portfolio a blog a consultant technology company it's really up to what you need to do so go ahead and click whatever you want to do for this tutorial let's try and create a an online store yeah okay so let me just go ahead and click that and then once you're done choosing what you want to do here just click next that easy pretty simple right but we are not going to follow a certain template or we are not going to generate a website. We are going to create one and let's discover how Wix work. Now, what do you want to add on your website? There's stuff that you can actually add on your website, such as online store, chat, forms, forum, and a lot more like bookings, events, blogs, pricing plans, stuff like that. Now let's try and click on forms, forums, and I think I'm going to go ahead and click on events right here because yeah I'm gonna be trying to make a website for a clothing line stuff like that yeah okay and video music Instagram feed online programs I think I'm good to go with this all right let's click next and once you click next you can choose between this two you can either let Wix ADI create your website or you can either create your website with the editor and this is what we're going for let's click edit a template Okay, so now since we are trying to start from scratch, let's check out the blank templates over here. Yes, we have uh, blank website templates such as minimal layout. We have classic layout. We also have info. We have strip header layout. We have gallery layout and stuff like that. So what are we going to choose here? Let's try to go ahead and look for the classical layout right here. Let's edit this one. Okay. It'll be too hard if we start from blank like this one. So I think let's go ahead and start with this. Okay, so it's loading up. It's taking a while because it's doing some coding and stuff like that. So it's doing the job for you. So you you won't have to do it anymore because the coding is the hardest part of making a website. But platforms like this eliminates the need for you to study coding. But of course, you get limited functions and you get limited. Um, yeah, you get you get a limited say over your website. So now it's still working. Adding Wix chat right here. Okay, you're good to go. Now this is how the editor looks like. Basically there's a sidebar over here and the sidebar is basically all that you need to edit the website. You can add, what can you add? Let's click it. You can add strip. You can add a text. You can add an image. You can add a strip and then you can choose from all of these stuff right over here okay strip classic or a blank one or this one okay or you can put in an image let's try and upload an image my image uploads we are going to upload all the images that we are going to need for this particular website so to do that just click that button that we yeah yeah just click upload files and then upload media right over here Okay, let's upload from computer. You can either drag them if you want to. Now, let's go ahead and upload all the images that I'm going to be using for this website. It's going to be an online store for a clothing line. So let me just go ahead and upload everything that I need. All right. So now, as you can see, they're uploading. It's, uh, yeah, it's fast. There you go. It's already uploaded. You don't need to wait for a long time, but basically it will depend on how large your files are. So my files are not so large. So that's why it took um, it took less than a minute to upload. Now, let's check out what can we add. Now, Alpen 
I plan to make this as the main photo of my website. So let's try and click add to page, add to page right here. And it's already over here. And as you can see, you can drag the images onto the, the lines right here just for it to be on the center. Or you can actually just drag the image for it to occupy this whole square over here. Or just, just try to like uh, follow the guide over here. All right. So now let's try and drag it a little bit more here. There you go. Okay. So this is just the first slide, y'all. So I'm going to change this title, okay, to the name of my clothing line. So I'm going to go for Black Parade. All right. Streetwear. Black Parade Co. There you go. You can add a description right over here. Maybe the name of the collection of the clothing line. And let's say I'm going to put in Streetwear Collection, right? Okay, streetwear collection, that's pretty good. And what more can you do is that you can add in more photos right here. Like for example, um, more photos of from the collection. Now, what if you want to edit your site on mobile? So uh, this is what I hate about Wix, y'all, uh, because there's a different um, editor for a desktop site and it's different when you try to edit your site for mobile view. So let's try and Click on mobile view. All right, so this is how it looks like on mobile. Now, it doesn't look really nice uh, because you have to like put in more lots, uh, you, you'll have to edit more stuff. Um, there you go, like this one. It's for mobile, right? So it basically looks different from the web implementation. So there's a separate editing for you to do. So for the header, you can double click this and you can edit scroll settings from that point on. So scroll with site or you can freeze or disappears or fades out. You can choose what happens to the header when they browse down. So it, it can it can either scroll with the site, it can either freeze or it can either disappear or it can either fade out. I think fade out looks really cool. So I'll just go ahead and click that. Now there is a mobile menu right here. And you can edit the menu by clicking this one. Edit menu. So it can either be home, about, services, gallery, contact. What is in that menu? So you can either add and you can either remove stuff from that menu. Okay. So that's it for this mobile. You'll have to make sure that when you edit for mobile, it's going to be different from the desktop. So let's go back to desktop. There you go. See? It's a really different implementation, so you'll have to make sure to check um, if uh, the mobile looks as good as uh, that on the web. So basically, it looks like this. This is how you edit your site on Wix. So what else is on the sidebar? You can add. What can you add again? You can add an image, button, gallery, decorative, and menus and pages as well. You can add in more menus right here. You can add page over here by clicking this button right here. So um. At the moment, these are all the menu that we have. Home, About, Services, Gallery, Contact. And these are the stuff that you can access using this over here, this men this mobile menu icon right here. And what else? You can change the background here. You can um, uh, add in mobile tools. You can hide it on mobile, stuff like that. And you can lay out, you can optimize the page layout by clicking this button right over here. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope this has been helpful. If I missed anything out, let me know down in the comments below. And see you again in the next video. Peace out.